Beautiful singer. Boy, she was great. Oh, no. I <laughs> actually forget that that's you until Gave about halfway through. Good for you. Channeling my inner Britney there for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, time for number nine. Uh, we have more investigative journalism about cereal. Oh, boy. It turns out Captain Crunch is not really a captain. What? Oh, yeah, a blog God. around Food Beast noticed something a few years back. A true, a true naval captain has four bars on the sleeve of his uniform. Captain Crunch only has three. That oh. denotes the rank of commander, not captain. And further, they even checked with the Pentagon who said we have no Captain Crunch in our personnel records. And they checked and uh, we're looking into whether or not he's impersonated a naval oh, officer. Yeah. And that is a serious Ooh. offense. Yeah. So oh. he might be on the run here huh. uh, fairly soon. So right. I'm glad we got that cleared up. Yeah. You're going to see it at the store now, issued correction, and they're all going to yeah, stick with Commander, commander Crunch. And Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> what about Kangaroo? Is he legit? Or uh, yeah, that's you're, a good question. Oh, also. yeah, there's yeah. another one. Another also. one to look into. I don't uh, believe that was his hair either, which <laughs> might have been a bigger crime. <laughs> yes. Tuesday's night at 9. I'm sure you'll look into we'll look that. Into that. Okay. Yes. Number eight, in case you're wondering, Cher is 75 years old this month. So we're going to take a look at some of her finest fashion moments early on in her career up until now. Ooh. She always looks good, doesn't she? Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, yeah. you, you put that on Cher and it looks normal. You put that right. on anyone else. Me. Well, Paul, you could rock that thing. Yeah. Little fringe. Good for her. 75. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Oh, that's an outfit. All right, number seven, get your Memorial Day weekend started with a floating flamingo party island. It can hold up to four adults with room for all the supplies you'll need, like a cooler. It also has drink holders, and it comes with an Fabulous. anchor. There's also a mesh floor so you can keep your feet submerged in water without having to go all the way in. Oh, isn't that nice? But if you jump in for a swim, be sure you're strong enough to get back on the giant float. It doesn't have a ladder. Oh, it is $350. Wow. That would be great just trying to see somebody try to climb back in. Right. <laughs> Push one person off. If you can get back in, you're back in. You guys should have a little A-team excursion in that. Here's the thing, you put that on Lake Michigan, you can end up floating. Yeah, you yeah, need the Michigan. Coast Guard. Yeah, or to, yeah. yeah, that might well, be. Well it said right. it has an anchor. How far down do you think? Oh, it I guess so, yeah. So is is the A-team thing back on? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Yep. <laughs> we'll send Robin out first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. How did the thumb get its name? Well, apparently it goes back to the 12th century. There was an Indo-European term for things that are stout or thick and strong that sounded like thumb, and it just stuck. Also, the Latin term for this finger is pollux, which comes from a verb meaning strong. That word is still used in medical context. Huh. Cool. All right, number five, here's another uh, hot dog hack. Uh, make your own wieners at home. You can use sausage, ground turkey, or even ham, or spam if you want. All you do is pick one up, up one of the one of these hot dogs, hot, hot dog shaped molds, and then you're gonna fill uh, your favorite casing. You can even fill it with ground beef for a sausage shaped burger. Huh. So really you're just putting meat in it, in a, in a shape. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, number four. Here's a fun one, a quick one. Take a look. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> when you don't have the horsepower, you just create it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, I've never associated the sound with a high-powered engine with a trombone before. Yeah. I don't know, but it makes it works. Yeah. That is awesome. People are so creative. All right, number three, dating isn't easy. Maybe a little comic relief can help. There's a show in New York called Updating. 
It puts two single people on stage for a first day in front of a live audience. They're both blindfolded, by the way. And this way, they have no idea what their date looks like, huh. and they can be their most authentic self before a crowd of random strangers. In order to be chosen, potential singles must share their last first date story with some humor added and allow the show's creator to have access to their social media accounts. Ooh. The show is paused due to COVID, but it's back up and running now. It has 600 person waiting list. Who knows, maybe it'll come to Chicago. It's huh, an interesting idea. Yeah. Would you ever do that? I'm married, so it well, probably wouldn't make sense for me to learn. Would heard, you give a well, shot? My wife lets me fool around on the side, so Stop it. I, Stop I could it. technically still do yeah, it. Yeah, well, when it comes to town, yeah. I'm Let sorry I asked that question. All right, number two, a guy in the UK posted this text that he got from a restaurant where he'd ordered food to be delivered. It says, hi, our delivery driver dropped your mixed kebab on the floor <laughs> by mistake. Do you want a fresh one cooked or I can knock 50 pounds off your order? <laughs> So the guy replies and he says, was it in the box? And the restaurant says, a little bit of it fell onto the pavement. Not much, though. The guy says, fresh one cooked. Uh, the restaurant isn't happy with that. And oh, replies, no. do you realize how busy we are? <laughs> wow. about that? I'm guessing he never got it. Yeah, who knows? What? 50 minutes later, it finally showed up. Sheesh. Whoopsie. Number one, here we go. The internet is great because it has stuff like this. It's a clip of Jack Nicholson on the set of The Shining getting himself into the right frame of mind. Now for the here's Johnny scene is what you're gonna see. Check out the crew member in the sweater. Come on, you oh, Come on, Dad. Come on! Ryan, are you ready on camera? Sure. Well, you just say turn up when you're ready, so. Wow. <laughs> Katie! I can't get out! Little pig. Little pigs, let me come in. Oh boy. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. What happens, Larry? Have you seen this one? I, <laughs> I took him about 25 minutes to get through the door, so it's. Oh, I, so I appreciate suspense. We have until yeah. 10 o'clock. We yeah. want to just keep. Wow. <laughs> no, that's the nine at nine. <laughs>